What's going on, everyone? It is week seven time coming at you here from Arizona a little bit early. Uh, this morning is about 624 on Wednesday morning. I promised you all I would upload on Wednesday. So here we are. Um, big, big week this week. Uh, so let's jump into it real quick with our teams on by the Cowboys and the Bears. Um, the Cowboys need a bye because they like to get beat by a billion points at home. And then Jerry Jones starts threatening reporters. Uh, so, okay. Uh, the Bears, I don't think, want to buy. They're hot right now. So, uh, granted, they really haven't won against anyone of note, but you can only play who's in front of you. Uh, but those are your two teams on bye. First game of the week, Thursday night football, the Broncos and the Saints. Two teams that... Um, are trying i guess uh, and you guys know how i feel about the broncos i am not a bo lever in bo nicks i think bo nicks is supremely overrated i don't think he's good at all yes i am biased as a chargers fan but i just don't think he's good and i think the saints win on thursday night the london game because we haven't forgotten 1776 we gave them the patriots versus the jaguars um someone has to win this game uh, Drake May looked pretty decent. Um, I think this game will be close. Um, but I do think that offensively, the Jaguars have more weapons that they need to start using appropriately. Um, and I do think the Jaguars are going to win this football game. The Falcons and the Seahawks. Uh, the Battle of the Birds here. Um, I just think the Falcons are a better football team. Geno Smith has been good, not great. Uh, in fact, he's been bad in some spots, thrown some bad interceptions last week. Um, and I think that the Falcons are starting to put some pieces together. Uh, and Kirk Cousins is doing Kirk Cousins things. Uh, I do think they need to get B. John Robinson involved more. They need to get him the ball early. Uh, but they are getting Drake London the ball. Uh, and Kyle Pitts has been more involved than ever before in his career. And I think the Falcons are going to win this football game. Bills and the Titans. Uh, the Bills have Amari Cooper now. So there's that. <laughs> um, and Will Levis just isn't that guy. It, offensively, these two teams are vastly different. The Bills are good offensively. The Titans are not. The Bills are not good defensively, though. I do think the Titans can run the ball on them. But I just don't think they can be consistent enough in the passing game to keep up with the Bills in buffalo the Bengals and the browns i won't pick the browns probably for the rest of the season uh because i think they're complete trash with a trash quarterback um i think they need to make a change at quarterback i think they need to eat that contract uh for deshaun watson and move on and i think the Bengals are starting to put some pieces together joe burrow's doing joe burrow things uh, they do need to be more consistent uh, but, um, you know, they're, they're trying to get back into the playoff hunt, and I think they're going to beat up on the Browns. One of the games of the week, there's a few of them, actually, two, two big ones, but this is the first one. Uh, in Green Bay, uh, the Texans and the Packers. Uh, I did pick the Texans here. This one was a hard one for me. This one was a toss-up. Um, Green Bay, man, when those young receivers are healthy, they are really good. <laughs> um, really, really good offensively. Um, you know, I think this game will be close. 24-21 uh, would probably be my guess uh, for this particular game. Maybe more uh, because these offenses could score and they could score quickly. Um, the Texans without Nico Collins didn't seem to struggle in the wide receiver department. And Nico's one of the best in the league, probably the best in the league, besides Justin Jefferson and maybe Jamar Chase. Um, you know, but I do think the Texans are going to go on the road and they're going to show they can win on the road against an NFC opponent. This is not one of the games of the week. <laughs> the Dolphins and the Colts, uh, the Dolphins without Tua just are not good offensively. They struggle getting their playmakers the ball. And I think the Colts are just, just going to beat them. They're at home. And yes, that does matter. It's usually good for about three points. And that's probably what this is going to be 17, 10, 17-14 type situation, uh, but I do think the Colts are going to have enough to win. The Lions and the Vikings. Oh, yeah, um, this one's going to be good. <laughs> um, Vikings coming off of a bye. The Lions coming off of a huge win against Dallas. Two offenses that seem to be frothing at the mouth, primed and ready. 
Um, the Lions did lose Hutchinson with that terrible injury. Uh, he did have that emergency surgery. It seems like it went well. I hope he recovers safely, but as fast as possible. Uh, he, he definitely won't be back this year. Uh, I don't think they've given a timetable for that injury. That does hurt them defensively, especially for their pass rush. Um, I had to pick someone. I almost just went with the home team, but I really just liked the way the Lions looked. The Lions were scoring for fun against Dallas. Um, and I think that they're going to hand the Vikings their first loss of the season. But I do think this game is going to be close. The Eagles and the Giants in a division matchup. Look, the way that Nick Sirianni acted, I might not pick the Eagles again this year because uh, I think they should fire him. Uh, I also think Philly fans deserve him because he is them, uh, an ass. Um, and I won't apologize for that. I won't apologize to uh, you know, to your Philly sports fans. I won't. You guys think that that, that the way you act, you think is good and appropriate, and and you deserve Sirianni. Uh, I, I I think he's a bad head coach. Uh, I don't think. They, they're going to beat the Giants. I think the Giants are going to beat them, uh, even without. Uh, it's looking like Neighbors isn't going to play again this week, but I still think the Giants beat them. The Raiders and the Rams. The Raiders got worse offensively with their trade of Devontae Adams, which we'll address when we get to the Jets game. Um, they're not good defensively either, except for Max Crosby. The rest of their defense is not good. The Rams coming off of a bye are getting healthier. Um, you know, I don't know if they got anyone particularly back, but they had a whole extra week to plan against a bad team. Uh, will there be more Raiders fans in LA? Yes, but who cares? They'll probably start 15 fights, even though they're getting their asses kicked and they lose the game. The Rams are winning this football game. Washington and the Panthers. Uh, Washington. Washington played very good against the Ravens uh, in a loss last week. And the Panthers are what they are. They're the worst team in football. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, yeah, I think Jaden Nails is going to bounce back. Uh, he's going to show those leadership capabilities. Um, they still have Scary Terry. Uh, they did. They were missing Brian Robinson Jr. Without him in the lineup to kind of be the power back to Eckler's receiving back. Uh, change of pace back. Uh, they were definitely missing that. Um, so they definitely need Robinson back to kind of have that one-two punch. I do think that affected them against the Ravens, but against the Panthers, they're going to be just fine. They're going to bounce back and win. Kansas City and the 49ers. Um, this is another one of those games of the week type situations. Um I almost picked the 49ers on this one. And then I remembered Kansas City's coming off of a bye. And Andy Reid just doesn't lose games coming off of a bye. I think he's like the last 10, he's like eight and two or nine and one or something like that. <laughs> it's, um, San Francisco still banged up. They still don't have CMC, but man, they've, they've, they've put the pieces together. Brock Purdy's good. Debo Samuel's fantastic. They still need to get Ayuk more involved, uh, you know, which they will. Um, I don't know the injury status of Fred Warner, and that's a big deal. Um, you know, because getting to your third running back, you know, there's a drop off, right? Let's be real. They always talk about next man up, but there's always a drop off in talent. That's why they're the third running back. <laughs> um, and I just think Kansas City has more than enough, even without Rice, uh, who's out for the year, um, you know, with his injury. Um, yeah, like it's still Patrick Mahomes, but it is going to be fun to watch Patrick Mahomes versus Brock Purdy. I just think Kansas City has enough. Go on the road, beat San Francisco. Sunday Night Football, Jets and the Steelers. The Jets now have two number one receivers with Wilson and Devontae Adams. I did not like how Aaron Rodgers basically threw Mike Williams under the bus, said he ran the wrong route. No, he didn't. He fell. Um... The Jets should have beat the Bills, right? But they didn't because they don't have the capability to close games yet. Devontae Adams is going to provide that capability. I do love how Devontae Adams has not played the last three weeks for the Raiders. He gets traded to the Jets and goes, yep, I'm playing this Sunday. 
Um, you know, so Devontae and Aaron Rodgers back together again. I think they're going to feed Devontae early. I think we're going to get a big dose of uh, Brees Hall. And you know, But the Steelers defensively are very good, very good. I just don't think they could keep pace offensively. As long as the Jets get Devontae going early, they're going to score early. The Steelers are going to have to play from behind, and they're not really a play-from-behind team. Um, so I think the Jets are going to win on Sunday Night Football. And because the football gods hate us, they have given us two Monday Night Football games that will overlap in time again, the Ravens and the Buccaneers, which I think is a great matchup. Um, the problem for the Buccaneers is they turn the ball over a lot. And when you turn the ball over a lot to Baltimore, who controls the clock, Baltimore is going to win this football game. They're going to force two or three turnovers, right? And they're going to control the clock. They're going to feed Derrick Henry. And Lamar is going to do his thing. Lamar completed 20 passes last week for 323 yards. And Derrick Henry still did his thing. He has scored. In, in every game that he's played except for one this season. Uh, I think he has five touchdowns. Um, yeah. The Ravens are going to win this game. I do think that it could, it could turn into a shootout uh, because both teams can simply score. But I think with the clock controlling abilities of the Ravens, they'll tone that down a little bit, force a couple turnovers, and it'll be more than enough to beat the Buccaneers. The other Monday night game, which is obviously a big deal to me uh, personally, I, I live in Arizona, but I am a Chargers fan I'm from California originally, grew up a Chargers fan. Uh, Monday night football, Chargers and the Cardinals. The Chargers are winning this game. Uh, the Cardinals are dysfunctional. Marvin Harrison Jr. is hurt. Um, you know, I don't know his status as far as playing, not playing, but even if he does play, uh, he's just been ineffective and it's not his fault. I think it's the way the offense is and Kyler Murray in the last few weeks. Uh, they did not look good against Green Bay. I'm not saying the Chargers are as good as Green Bay, especially offensively, but we got going offensively. We got Herbert going. Uh, we were still able to run the ball against the Broncos. We were up 23 nothing in that game. We did let the foot off the gas. Uh, we let the Broncos get back in playing prevent defense, which prevented nothing. <laughs> um, uh, we, we were able to rush the quarterback. Uh, we were able to stop the run against the Broncos. And I think the Cardinals might be the Broncos just in the NFC. Uh, they have a quarterback who just can't seem to put it together. They have a talented receiver who's just not getting there. Um, they can run the ball when they choose to, but they just randomly stop feeding James Conner the ball. The Chargers are going to give them a heavy dose of the running game, control the clock. They'll probably win 21-10, uh, but I do see the Chargers winning this football game. So that's it, guys. That is week seven. Let me know down in the comments who your favorite team is, how they're doing this year, how you expect them to do going forward and let me know how you guys are enjoying these videos would you like me to change anything uh is there is, is there any sort of stat you guys want me to go over in these because i could definitely look at stuff like that to improve these videos because i'm always looking to improve uh but i do enjoy doing these for you guys so let me know down in the comments how i'm doing make sure you guys like share and subscribe and happy football